Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today we will learn how to use the ifTop command or interface top command which allows you to monitor your network traffic. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first you have to install it. Here I am using Ubuntu so in order to install it is pretty simple. Update install as always and you tap iftop me I already install it so no problem with that and after that you have to launch it with uh, root privileges so I will do sudo iftop ok so now as you can see it begins to monitor our network and let's say for example let's launch a YouTube channel or something like that okay let's launch this music here okay let's launch another site for example I don't know maybe Yahoo for example or something like that okay just in order to get some traffic Okay, as you can see now, the traffic begins to show. So I will explain what you see here. So the first column, as you see here, actually displays the source. The second column is the destination. The third column here shows the bandwidth usage for the last two seconds. And the fourth one the bandwidth usage for the last 10 seconds and finally the fifth column shows the bandwidth usage for the last 14 seconds okay so as you can see here we have a lot of traffic here is my IP address okay so as you can see now it displays with the domain names but I can toggle or display just IP addresses so in order to do that we just press the N key in your keyboard as you can see now I see only IP addresses so to return back to the domain name we just press N another time as you can see now we have domain name Naya Hort, something else ADSL okay if you want to display port or ports it's also very easy all you have to do is to press the P key I will press it as you can see now HTTPS domain HTTP so just some ports here some, some random ports I can toggle with the IP addresses if I want as you can see now so all you have to do is just to press the P key in order to display ports and to disable them we hit P once again okay if you want to hide for example the source all you have to do is to press the S key in your keyboard as you can see now all my source have been replaced with an asterisk and if I press S again they, they appear once again if I want to do the same with destination this time I have to press the T key okay so now the destination is hidden we press T once again and it's displayed okay you can also toggle mods because we have actually three mods with with pressing the T key if you press the T key here you can see one line per host so I have one line per host if I press T again you can see we are now displaying just the sent request and if press T again we have received it request or receive traffic 
and I've pressed T again it returns to the normal state as you can see I didn't tell you but this little row you see here when it's from left to right it means the traffic sent okay and when this little row is from right to left it means received traffic so we have to keep that in mind also a very interesting thing is that you can pause traffic so also it's pretty easy you have to press shift then p key as you can see now the traffic is paused but don't forget to press the shift because if you press just the p key it will just display displays the port the port numbers okay and if i press shift p again it will display our traffic as normal you can also sort by for example if you want to sort by uh, the, uh, the third column here which is uh, the bandwidth usage for the last two seconds you can do that by just pressing the one key as you can see now it, uh, I don't have so much traffic if you want to sort in second column you have to just to press number two in your keyboard and it will sort by the bandwidth usage but it's always good to just to press one to, f to sort by the first column and finally yes you can use the H it will display the help so all the commands that I have told you you can find it just with pressing the H key so it's a very interesting uh, tool that you can use in order to troubleshoot your network connection and see who is scaling your connection actually and to quit as you can see here you have just to press the Q key so that was just an introduction to this uh, magnificent tool I use it all the time it's very interesting I hope it will help you to troubleshoot your network connection. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.